What's up, my friends? My name's Eric. Today I'm going to be reviewing a card that I absolutely love, and I actually cannot believe I have not reviewed it yet when I started getting to the commons and uncommons. Today's card is Toppelgeist. One white will get you a 1-1 spirit with flying. When Toppelgeist enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. Delirium. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard, tap target creature that player controls. I love it. It's so cool. And uh, I tell people all the time for draft, I will pick this first. It Unless it's just an absolute bombshell rare, Nahiri, Soren, I'm going to take Toppelgeist. I love Toppelgeist. It's so cool. Because let's look at it early game for starters. If you get it, I will play it on turn one or two because it's an early start putting pressure on right from the beginning of the game. Turn one drop, oh yes I will, without having a tap target. Yes, it feels a little bit wasted, but on turn one, it's a 1-1 flyer for one, and I like that a lot. Now let's look at it on, say, turn four. Well, you have a creature or two, maybe three are already in play. You drop this, tap their remaining creature that they had for blockers, or one of them at least, and then you can swing and go, you know, hurt them still. And, you know, it's, it's good no matter when you play it, but uh, the Delirium is what I really enjoy about it, and I find myself trying really hard to do Delirium most of the time, whether I have this in play or not, I'm I'm usually trying to do it because we have, you know, Reaper of Flight, Moonsilver, and White, and I do like Moorland Drifter, that it's a 2-2 that gets flying if you have Delirium, but one of the things I really enjoy about playing in White is Angelic Purge, and with Angelic Purge, you can sacrifice, I usually do a land, but you can get two of your four cards you need for Delirium, and that's awesome. So with this, you're tapping every opponent's turn, you know, and and I love that so much because it can lock down an attacker and it can take out a blocker for your next turn, and it's so great. I I like it a lot more than, say, Sleep Paralysis or uh, Pacifism because while those are fine cards for pseudo-type removal, um... You can do Toppelgeist and uh, change your target. You know, if you have, let's say you use Pacifism, it makes a enchanted creature can't attack or block. Well, with Pacifism, it's on the enchant, it's on the creature, it's enchantment. If they play something bigger and scarier, well, better hope you get another Pacifism. With Toppelgeist, you just change the target over. Yeah, you still got to deal with the second biggest threat, but. By the time that actually happens, hopefully you'll have drawn something to handle it. Or, you know, you can just take out the bigger one. It, I like it a lot because I feel like no matter when you play it, it's good. It's got it's got a lot of power in it, you know, and for one white. I mean, wow, love it. Um, it like I said, I will, I will tell people to... I will first pick this every single time I see it. I love playing white in draft. And that's why in draft I'm giving it a four. Uh, I do want to say that... Maybe my review on it is a little bit biased, I will admit, but I love this thing, and I think it's great. Turn 1, turn 5, turn 10, you know. So 4 on draft, for all reasons I stated before, early pressure, or if you want to drop it on turn 5, you know, by then you could have delirium. I think turn 5 is going to be a little hard to get delirium, but, you know, if you get it, whenever you get it, and you have topple guys down, it's always so nice to have that little guy helping you out. And then you can still swing with him, too. I love it. Uh, standard of three, I don't think he's going to be as valuable in standard, but Delirium, I feel, is easier to get in standard, because if you're going to be doing Delirium, you're obviously going to base your deck around it, you're not just going to slap it into Bant Company, you know, it's, you know, not, not working. Uh, Modern of two, while I do like Toppelgeist, I think in Modern, it's not going to hold up, because you have other things that can tap things down, and more permanently... Uh, or you'd rather just for one white use Path to Exile to completely exile it, uh, and for one mana you get you know cheaper creature or better creatures for the same cost, or you know a Memnite costs zero for a one one, Ornithopter zero for a zero two flyer. You know if you want to pay one mana you got Goblin Guides a two two. Yes, they have the drawbacks, but you know hey get what you uh, get what you pay for right. On EDH I'm gonna go one point five. Uh, because I really hate to give it a 1 in anything, no matter what, but EDH, I mean, it's a little tiny guy. I might put one into my Derevi, and is all about tapping stuff, so, mm, but other places, probably not so much. 
So that's what I have to say about Topple Guys. If you have a different opinion, I'd like to hear it in the comments down below. If you like what I have to say about Topple Guys and you have shared the experience of first picking this guy and going so far with it, so much value, uh, leave a like. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all next time.